Hello, my name is Alejandro Doya Banin. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Toffee Blues for this opportunity to share my story. Uh, I'm Colombian, I'm 22 years old right now. I've been a uh, Toffee since the 12th of August of 2012. Um, that's when I became an Evertonian. It was at my aunt's house. Um, I was at my aunt's house. Uh, and Everton were playing Man United that day. I decided I wanted to watch the game. I had no affiliation whatsoever with any team in England, but I knew it was going to be a good game, so I decided to watch it. Um, it was perfect, the game was perfect. Uh, I fell in love with the club that day, uh, with the goal, uh, with the Lightning's goal, uh, a header. I really still remember the, the, the goal. Um, and since that day, I started watching every match, uh, every game, every interview. I started to to know more about the history of the club, uh, the work it does with the community, uh, with the Everton in the community, uh, all the programs, um, stuff about the stadium, obviously the park, the, the Grand Old Lady, um, and everything there's to know about the club and the players. Uh, the, the managers, obviously, at the time it was Moyes, then Martinez, and all, all the ones you know. Uh, I was at a school at the time, uh, but I quickly became a, a blue through and through. Uh, after, I, in 2015, when I graduated, uh, I had the opportunity to go on an exchange, and obviously I chose Liverpool. Uh, I wanted to, to watch Everton life at Goodison Park, so I decided to go there. Uh, it was obviously to improve my English, that was the, the, the real reason, but uh, the, the reason that I chose Liverpool was because of Everton. I could have gone uh, everywhere else. Uh, it's quite funny, not right now because I'm a bit rusty, uh, speaking wisely, but uh, they often ask me why did I chose Liverpool, that I already spoke better than them. So it was quite funny actually at the time. Uh, the the first day I arrived there actually I had that trouble I had trouble uh, understanding what they were saying. Uh, the the cup that I took it was quite difficult to understand him but after a few weeks I was like already used to the, the way the, the scouts talk. So it was it was easier after that. Uh, I bought a shirt. Uh, I'll show it to you later. Um, a jacket, uh, the membership, a wallet, a watch, um, something for the the PlayStation controller. I don't know how to call it. Um, I bought, a, I bought a lot of stuff, a keychain to open beers. Um, I went to six matches, including the Derby. 1-1, one, one, uh, Lukaku scored. Uh, I saw the hat-trick, Naismi, the score against Chelsea. It was the best match. But my first one was against Man United. A year, uh, I'm sorry, a day after I arrived in Liverpool, it was um, the, 2012, the, 22, the 22nd of August in 2015 that I arrived. It was a Saturday and the next day on Sunday I was already at Goodison Park. We lost sadly, but it was the first experience I had at the Grand Old Lady, so it was good. Um, I also had the opportunity to watch a shootout against Norwich, uh, which we won in the Carabao Cup, uh, around December, I think. Uh, yeah, around December. I also met a lot of Evertonians and some Copites at a pub near uh, the house I was staying at. Um, I also did the tour around Goodison Park. I still have the thing they gave us to commemorate the, the day we, we had the tour. So that's how I became an Evertonian. Uh, I I buy the, the international membership every year, and obviously when it was 
separated from the first season. I, I, I used to buy both of them. Um, this year, the, the flag that comes with the, with the membership hasn't arrived. It's a shame. I could have like, placed it there or something. Um, but yeah, I, I also have a lot of shirts, a lot of kits. So yeah, now it's clear that I, how I became an Evertonian. Uh, I've been an Evertonian for some years now. Uh, but that's not all. And my dream is to be the Everton manager someday. Um, I'm finishing my psychology degree right now. I want to specialize in sports psychology after, and then I want to get my UEFA Pro license. Uh, well, all the licenses, obviously. Um, and the dream is to be the Everton manager. Uh, maybe I'll go to Spain, I don't know. Uh, it's a good opportunity. And then obviously I'd like to, to go and manage into the championship and then the Premier League. For now, I'm obviously finishing my, my psychology degree. I have a, a blog called Panorama Football. It's in Spanish, uh, but I could and also like to, to write and, and do videos in English. Um, I, I use Twitter also to... I follow a lot of uh, football analytics and... and I tweet a lot about the, the, the things that I post on my blog, so that's what I'm doing right now. I analyze a lot of matches. I'm an expert about Everton. I know about the, the first team, the women's team, the under-23s, the under-teens. Uh, also, I know all the players. And, well, I'm, I want to be a, a manager, so this is what I'm into, and this is what I'm going to to be doing the next years of my life, so it's my passion and, and I'm an Evertonian. So this is all I've bought over the years, uh, minus a wallet that I couldn't find. This is the first one that I bought, first kit that I bought back in the day. It has my last name in the back, the number I like, and also the, the day I was born, the 5th of December. Um, this is the only retro I've got from the tournament in 85, the European Cup Winners' Cup, obviously, uh, the first jacket I bought, those two, those last two became in the same package, the first one was alone, uh, I have others, this one, Kuma Nira, uh, I have another one in, in behind, uh, this is the, the jacket I bought when I was uh, at Liverpool and also this this kit that's the one that I bought um, in the store near Wilson Park and this is the other one I've got I'm missing some but yeah Barry on the back thank you on the back of this one thank you this more respect even though he wasn't the best performer um, I have the the, the thing that says I went on the stadium tour, the membership and all the matches I went to. So I've got the tickets to steal. And the wallet that I'm using right now, the other one that I couldn't find uh, had Wilson Park printed. Uh, in here you could open it at Wilson Park. And around here is like the, the membership and the stuff, other cards. Come on Everton, up the toffees.